appreciate my people. Big pro that man. Yes, you already know what it is, man. Sneakers, kicks, and crepes. And today, we've got a nice little review. Yes, we're looking at the Yeezy Quantum in the flash orange colorway. We're going to look at everything. We're going to look at how we copped, fit on feet, unbox, all of that good stuff. If you like that kind of thing, like the video. And without any further ado, let's have a quick look at the box. Big Quantum on the front there. Adidas and a little bit on the back. What are we saying here? Yeezy Quantum by Adidas. And all the way on this side, you can have a quick look at the label. That is a 12 and a half Quantum Yeezy by Adidas. Okay guys, now we've had a look at the box. we have had a quick look at how the shoes look in hand. Let's find out how these bad boys look on feet. So I picked these up on the 22nd of May, 2021, direct from Adidas Confirmed. So once again, shout out Adidas Confirmed. It seems like me and you, we started off a nice little relationship. We got a good thing going, Adidas Confirmed. Just remember me when the Rave Runners come back out later on this year, please, yeah. All right, guys. And then, so I, so I managed to pick these up. As I said, straight from Adidas confirmed, I got these for £220 retail. There's no real secondary market on these. If I'm being honest, you probably still pick them up um, for retail, even maybe even a bit less than retail. Um, there's not a massive market for these in the UK, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Sizing, now, um, I managed to pick these up in a 12 and a half, and I'm basically around that. That's basically my kind of size. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'd probably go like half a size up. I usually wear a UK size 12, so half a size is probably where you wanna be. Uh, you probably need, you wouldn't need much more than that. Some people might wanna go a full size up. I mean, it is pretty tight to get in. It's a pretty narrow entry point here. Um, so I suppose obviously if it's a bit bigger, it might be a bit wider to get your foot in, so that might help, but it is a pretty wide fit. So yeah, um, yeah, I'd probably just go stick to the half a size or just get your regular size if you're feeling fruity. So yeah, guys, let's talk about comfort um small little thing i mean and literally a small little thing is a weirdly narrow uh, opening to get into the shoe um, but once you're in the shoe it is a really wide fit which is really cool uh, for how it feels on foot um massive amount of boost in the midsole as well tpu outwalls as well it's a good amount of, of 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 bounce you're gonna get from the midsole so yeah almost instantly comfortable once you get your foot in this sort of narrow opening here very accommodating and very comfortable guys let's talk about the look and design i'm not gonna go too deep into the materials um as many of you will know and if you don't know please go and check out i did a deep dive into the differences between the yeezy basketball and the yeezy quantum um casual um so that is on my channel there'll be a card somewhere or it's in the link it's in the description below make sure to go check that out to get sort of a real deep dive into the materials and and, and bits and bobs but essentially i'm just gonna go really really quick um it's a it's it's a mesh upper with some embroidered overlays. You've got some suede on the toe box, TPU out walls, um, boost midsole, which you can see here. It's kind of like a bit of a, an off-white semi-gun, se semi-gun, semi-gum <laughs> outsole, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you've got this 3M sort of heel protector thing which is completely 3M. So you take a, uh, a photo of that and it's like, it's really weird, it's mad. I don't know why that's there. I don't know why that's on there, but I mean, as a design choice, it's there. And some people seem to like it. Um, neoprene upper is kind of like a booty, similar to the 700 V3 on, uh, on the inside of the shoe. So pretty cool in that regard. So I think the idea behind this was that they create a casual basketball shoe. And I think they've kind of, 
hit the brief, if I'm being honest. Um, I could kind of see people wearing this casually and I could see people playing basketball in these if they really, really wanted to. In fact, I have seen uh, actual ballers rocking these to play ball in and it, it, seems, it seems to do the job for some people. So, I mean, it is pretty firm. I mean, this type of, because it's got the the tpu outwards it's not as flex there's not much flex in it as you would get in like a v2 uh so a, 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 a 350 v2 or something like that where you could literally fold it in half you're not going to be able to do that obviously um it's it's made um in at least a semi way for performance and obviously there is a performance version of the shoe um but yeah from from just a walking around perspective it is a pretty comfortable shoe um look wise i mean it some people are gonna lo love it some people are not it's got a real sort of tiger stripe vibe the embroidered pieces on the uh, are on the mesh yeah they're doing me something like yeah they're giving me real tiger vibes and i don't know whether i'm i'm on a uh, on a tiger flex at the moment you know I, I might have missed that boat so guys let's get into whether i would cut that or whether i would stop that before i get into that let me just wipe off my thing like a preacher we've talked about everything we talked about the comfort we've talked about how they look we talked about their price what am i saying with regards to this shoe would i buy this shoe would i keep this shoe and if i'm being honest this one isn't for me and so it's a stop that um i think the silhouette's got potential i think there's been some better colorways that have come out i think the last couple of colorways that they brought out haven't really hit and i think that's the reason why this shoe isn't massively popular in the uk um basketball uh, basketball shoes are becoming more and more popular obviously with the jordans and the things of that nature but it's just obviously the design of the shoe and there's I say i think it does have some potential if it had a really good colorway if it had like a maybe like a black on black colorway would actually probably bang quite hard actually um but that being said i mean from a casual perspective it is a very comfortable shoe you can wear it um if you're rocking it with like some sweats or something like that i could imagine it working you understand but I suppose just for me, the way that they've used the color, this sort of tiger vibe isn't really for me. So for me, it's a stop that, um, but I think a better colorway could actually be a strong cop that. So yeah, just keep your eyes peeled and let's see what they come out with later on in the year. I've told you what I think, let me know what you think in the comments below. I've said it's a stop that, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're feeling. Hit me up on social media, Prozac on Instagram and Twitter, and let me know whether you would cop that or you would stop that. Obviously, if you've liked the video, like the video, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, all of that good stuff, support your boy. We're continuing to grow. And if you like sneaker chat and you like podcasts, and you like big black guys chatting about sneakers, right? <laughs> Make sure to go check out Kitch Chronicles, my, my sneaker history podcast, where we look at a guest sneaker history, we go all the way back to the beginning, what drew them to the game, all the way to the modern day and what's currently on feet. That's available, obviously, on YouTube, but also available on all uh, podcast platforms you know all the big ones it's all there go and support your boy let me know Wagwan. once again prozac on instagram and twitter thank you people for your support thank you for reaching out thank you for your love and until i see you man down the roads stay blessed